well-being tourism, we create experiences that are good for people and good for the world. How do we create a tourism that serves all of us, from the bumblebee to the butterfly, from us here and now to our grandchildren far into the future? Uh, well-being, in one word, it's harmony. And I think most people can relate to a state of harmony when you feel that everything is just, you know, right. So we have a clear and relaxed mind, uh, our emotions are balanced, uh, our body is relaxed, but at the same time vital and energized, and we have a sense of fulfillment. When you reach these states, it's like a magical experience. We are an inseparable part of the whole planetary ecosystem. If the ecosystems around us in the nature are not thriving, we cannot be thriving. Tourism is such a huge industry, so there is equally huge potential to create positive change through tourism. To really highlight that we have so incredible resources here in the Baltic region, I think people are too little aware of their own backyard. This well-being project can also support people getting out in their nearby nature. And now, in particular after the pandemic, nearly everybody is on board. And they understand the importance and the value of well-being. The trend was there already before, but the pandemic, it put it into light and you could say intensified what was already there. Shopping is a big part of tourism. So when people are traveling and they are enjoying a destination, they also want to go shopping. And then it's important to have these uh, local and uh, fairly produced and ecological products that, that people can choose. The well-being attracts people that are open to share their knowledge and their experiences, their inspiration and ideas with each other. The companies were put into groups and then they, their task was to create something new based on their own companies, but they needed to create something together. And we already also see some companies that actually start to think about creating products together for real, regionally, but also cross uh, borders. In the long run, I have a vision that all companies can be part of well-being and produce uh, well-being tourism products and services. The ones that we work with now, they are kind of the pioneers. One thing that's characteristic with them is that it's a part of who they are. It's a part of their own lifestyle. It can be challenging to start to provide services and, and products that are ecological and fair and so on, because it has been out of the norm, let's say, for a long time, then they need this inner conviction that this is the right thing to do, this is my way. It's really something that comes from deep inside of them that they really believe in. They found the courage and like, yes, I am believe in my product and I'm going to start a company. That's really amazing to hear that people are so empowered and they come together not only by the concept but also by each other that they know that I'm not alone. 